This is a video that's going to help you solve more difficult proportions. The proportion I'm going to solve is x minus 4 divided by 6 is the same as x plus 6 divided by 21. To solve this proportion, I'm going to use cross products or cross multiplication. I've rewritten this proportion and color coded the cross products. One of the pairs of cross products is in red, while the other pair of cross products is in green. To solve this problem, I'm going to multiply each of the cross products and set them equal to each other. When I do that, I have x minus 4 times 21 is the same as 6 times x plus 6. Both sides of this new equation have parentheses. I need to use a distributive property to simplify each side of the equation. I've set up generic rectangles on both sides of the equation. And what I'm going to do is on the left side of the equation, I'm going to take 21 and multiply it by x minus 4, like this. When I do that, I take 21 times x and get 21x, and 21 times negative 4 and get negative 84. I've also set up a generic rectangle on the other side of the equation to simplify that as well. In this problem, I'm going to take 6 and I'm going to multiply that times x plus 6. Well, 6 times x is just going to be 6x, and 6 times positive 6 is going to be positive 36. Now I've got a new equation. I have 21x minus 84 is the same as 6x plus 36. And I've rewritten that right here. If you notice, this is just a two-step equation where I have variables on both sides of the equation. To solve this, the first thing I always do is I make my fence through the equal sign. This reminds me whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do to the other side also. Now to solve an equation like this, I've got to get x all by itself. To do that, I'm going to need to take 6x away from both sides. After doing that, on the left side of the equation, I'm going to be left with 15x minus 84, and on the right side of the equation, I'm just going to be left with 36. Next, I'm going to add 84 to both sides of the equation. And when I do that, on the left side of the equation, my 84 and negative 84 cancel each other out, and I'm just going to be left with 15x. And on the right side of the equation, 36 and 84 is going to be equal to 120. The last step is to divide both sides of the equation by 15. 15x divided by 15 is just going to be x, and 120 divided by 15 is going to be 8. So the answer for this problem is going to be x is equal to 8. 